Blumum. First and foremost, Kwahala Yahweh Bashim Yasha Bashim Kwakudash. The more instead of apostles of great millstone, Shalom to the Yakim up there on the highways and byways, noise in this road abroad all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yasha. So I'm gonna make this video. It's called Debunking Darwin's Theory. You know, the bullshit of evolution. And when you really think about it, you know. That this whole evolution garbage or nonsense <laughs> that this individual is putting out is just bullshit. And the people that believe in this shit are there, they're just a bunch of dumb idiots <laughs> and mindless zombies that actually believe in this bullshit. Because if you really think about it, you know, when you ask the question, you know, from one of these idiots about this whole evolution garbage. You'll ask them the simple question, like, where did the process stop? You know, their answer to you is, oh, well, it takes time, you know. But how much time does it actually take? You know, they can't, an they can't answer the question. Like, they can't pinpoint an exact time or date where actually the process has stopped. You know, they can't tell you that. They want to tell you that, oh, it takes time. It takes a million years, all this bullshit. But we know through the scriptures that the earth is not that old. The earth is not millions upon millions upon millions of years old. You know? So, you know, this this whole nonsense that they push out is just, you know, 100% bullshit. And here it is, they teach it in the school systems. You know? But without a reasonable doubt, we're going to disprove and de debunk this whole bullshit of Darwin's theory. And um, let's start with the book of Genesis chapter chapter um, chapter 1, verse 21. And it reads, And the Most High created great wells in every living creature that moveth, which, in, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. And every winged fowl after his kind, and God saw that it was good. So this is where, you know, the Most High, you know, through his men, by the way, through, um, you know, first our Lord Yahweh Shai and his men, because we, we, really, we really was the ones that created the earth, you know, the elect, which was made from the foundations of the earth, you know, we were the ones that created the earth, along with our Lord Yahweh Shai back then. You know, when nothing was formed. So everything was already predestined already. So first um twenty two. And the most high blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the sea, and let the fowls multiply in the earth. You see? So the so the creatures that were in the sea, you know, the most high blessed them, we blessed them to be fruitful. To bring more abundantly of fish in the sea. You know. And I'm going to jump down. Verse 24. And the Most High said, let, said let, let the earth bring forth the living creatures after his kind. And cattle and creeping things after. And cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And the Most High made the beast of the earth after his kind, and the cattle out, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. So here it is: the creatures, you know, this 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 was this was before even man was created. You know, man wasn't created yet. Here, you know, it was the creatures and the beasts that were created before man. You know, after their kind, you see, this is why you call it's called mankind, because mankind was created after his own kind. It wasn't created after beast. Mankind, mankind wasn't created from beast. You see, let me take you see, when you look at this bullshit right here. Salakia. When you look at this bullshit right here, it has. You know, this is this is a monkey right here. A monkey is considered a beast according to the scripture. It would have, you know, the, the bullshit right here, a monkey evolving, you know, 
the transformation from monkey to this to man <laughs> you know to this but in actuality if this if if um if evolution it did exist then we shall we shall still see it we shall still be seeing the same process continue on to this very day you know we should be seeing a a monkey you know evolving and changing into a man continually why is it that we're not seeing this why is it that we're not seeing this to this very day that a man is evolving from a monkey <laughs> you know what I'm saying a mon a monkey is is evolving from a monkey to a man why well, we're not seeing it I tell you why because it doesn't exist it never existed you know this bullshit of Darwin's theory never existed it's all bullshit you know so jumping back to the scriptures um so this is verse um Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and it reads and God said, let us make man in our image after the likeness and let them do and let them have dominions over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and the cattle and the cattle and all the um and all the earth and every creeping thing that's creepeth upon the earth. You see, so. Um, the beasts and cat, the animals and cattle was already created before man was even created. So how is that possible? How is a man evolving from a monkey, you know what I'm saying, to a man? How is that theory possible? Because according to the scriptures, it says that <laughs> all these, all these creatures was created before man, you know, everything. You know, way before man was was created. So the Most High is saying, "Let, let um, let us make man in our own image." You see, man is made in the image of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. You know, the elect man. Um, verse twenty-seven. So God created man in His own image, and in the image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female created he created them. So male and female was created. You know? Mankind, this is where mankind was created. Male and female. So this is why it's called mankind. Not beast kind. <laughs> mankind. You know? All right, so verse um, verse twenty eight, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fishes of the sea and over the fowls of the air and every living thing that moveth upon the earth. You see, so the Most High gave us dominion over the um the creatures over the fowls of the air, you know. And the beast of the field and the fishes of the, of the sea. You know, we're supposed to have dominion. But right now we don't have that dominion because, you know, us as a chosen people, you know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native, Seminole Indians, we went against the Most High, broke the laws. And therefore, you know, we're, we're having to serve our captivity here to this very day. But look... But here it is, the most high, no, reading, going back to um, Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of, of the most high created he, male and female created he, he them both. So male and female was, uh, was created both, way before, you know, saying, after, you know, the cattle and, um, and the animals were created. So there, there you have your proof. There, there's the debunction right there. You know, because that's not biblical. You know, and it's, and it's Charles Darwin, and he's an Edomite, by the way. And these Edomites really don't have any understanding, you know. They want to come up with their own laws and their own theories and their own bullshit, which 
doesn't logically make any sense. And this is why this devil, this Edomite, he has to be re removed from power. You know, he has to be taken out of power because this devil, he, he just truly doesn't have any business ruling this earth. You know. So the question that that's asked, you know, where did the process stop? You know, where has the process stopped? And they can't give you an answer. They can't pinpoint and give you an exact time of date where did the time stop? Because eventually, <laughs> because obviously it doesn't exist. You know, men evolving from a monkey, a monkey evolving from a a monkey evolving into a man. That theory doesn't exist. Because the scripture says everything after its own kind. You know? And this is why you call it mankind. Because man is created after his own kind. That's why it's called mankind. Not beast kind like I stated earlier. So um, let's go to... Um, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verse 39. Actually, let me start at um, 38. All right, so this is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 38. But God giveth it a body as... As please, let me start, um, let me start at 37. And that which is sown, and that, and that which thou sowest, thou sowest. Not, not the body that shall be, but barren grain it shall, it may chance of wheat or of some other grain. Verse 37. But God giveth it a body as it, as it hath pleased him and, and to every seed his own body. You see, to every seed his own body, you know. Verse 37. All flesh is not the same flesh. You see, all flesh is not the same flesh. You see? You see, so a, fl um, a man's flesh is not the same flesh as a, as a monkey. You know? We're two different, is two different fleshes, two different species. So let me read that again, verse 39. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is a... But there is one flesh of man, another of fle another flesh of beast. You see, the scriptures is clearly telling you that there's another flesh of man, you know, which is mankind, which we produce after our own kind by our own seed, you know, and another flesh of beasts where beasts, you know, produced after their own kind, you know, a monkey would get with another female monkey and they will and they will reproduce after their kind, you know, and it will come out as a monkey. It won't come from, you know, it, it's no thing of a monkey evolving into a man. And and that's so, you know, we just don't see it in today's day. We don't see the process like that in today's day. You know, we see a man getting with a female and they, you know, they lay down and they produce a baby. You know, a man or a male or a female, you know, after its kind from from the loins of his seed. You know. Another flesh, another, uh, another of fishes and a and another of birds, you see. So when you see birds reproduce, you know, they were they were reproduced after their own kind. You know. So when you see the animals reproduce, they're re reproducing after their own kind. Just like man, man is re reproducing after its own kind. This is why you call it mankind, you see? And another of birds, you know? So that's a cold cut to this bullshit, Dar um, bullshit of Darwin's theory, you know? Clearly, you know, the scriptures is lining up to what we see in that's taking place on the face of the earth. You know, everything is re re reproducing after their own kind, not this bullshit Darwin's theory. 
Because Darwin's theory is 100% bullshit and anybody that follows <laughs> follows his theory or his his way of thinking, they're, they're just mindless zombies at the end of the day. And they don't know anything, you know. This is why, you know, we, um, this is why we say GMS, you know, has the 100% truth. And any, uh, and in any uh, other brothers that are, may not be affiliated with GMS that are actually teaching the truth, like that's under the banner of GMS, you know, we're the ones that have the 100% truth. All right. And that's just the bottom line, you know, because you how about Shem Yashai said so. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, all praises and glory is due to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakwakwadash, Shalom.